Does anybody know the American audio company, THX? It was a rather unusual company, but has a disturbing deep note. They use deep notes for audio tests. I remember seeing THX trailers on my childhood DVDs, and that concerned me. However, there was a robot mascot that Pixar made for THX called Tex, and he used to scare me when I was little. His design is just all that. I am here to tell you a story about how he got a little weirder. You guys can read apart from the story. I'll start off. I was out for a walk with my dad's metal detector to find some money to put in my wallet. I didn't hear a beep from the machine until later. I grabbed a shovel, and it was revealed to be a cardboard box. I put it in the house and opened it. What was inside it? A THX DVD. The case had a black background and Tex holding up some tools. It was labeled as Tex Halloween 2007 inches. I felt interested in watching it, so I decided to turn it on. I put it in my portable DVD player one got for my 13th birthday, and some sort of message came up. My turn next. This DVD was a test for people who are afraid of Tex and want him to be creepier. To promote Halloween by Rob Zombie, despite the fact it's not THX certified, we wanted to test out how creepy Tex would be if he were a horror character, so sit back and enjoy Tex's 2007 Halloween trailer. Alright, my turn. So, the trailer was to promote Halloween by Rob Zombie? I thought to myself. It started with a black screen for about 10 seconds. After that, it finally showed the THX logo in a dark background. Tex walked into the shot with some tools and waved to us. He flew to the logo and went to the X and opened a trap door. The camera then followed Tex as he slid down the secret passage. I saw Tex running, but it was hard to keep up with him. It's my turn now. As I thought I finally caught up with him, the screen cut to black. I heard a light switch, and as a light turned on, Tex was in a room full of dead bodies and corpses. Some were hung, some were mutilated, and some were stabbed. Tex smiled to us and asked us, Do you like it? He had a very deep, brash and bogan-like voice. I couldn't handle the sight of the corpses, so, I paused the DVD and I rushed to my bathroom and vomited into the toilet. And here's a scene of Gershwin of K9.5 fame vomiting. Oh god. I think I'm going to... <laughs> My turn. After I threw up, I went back to watch the trailer. I played it again, and Tex suddenly vanished without a trace. After about 5 seconds, Tex's face appeared onto the screen with blood stains, accompanied by a loud woman scream. That scared the crap out of me. The camera zoomed out of his face. Tex then said, Since I'm going to make robot food. I'm gonna make you as my very own human sandwich. He grabbed out a saw. I was so scared that I was about to hyperventilate. Tex said something else, but first, would you like to see if I have eyes or not? Tex lifted up his cap, revealing human eyeballs planted on his face. Then a loud static sound emitted. I covered my ears, but I didn't close my eyes or take them off the screen. I'm next. Time to rock and roll with the team and tonight, yelled Tex. The camera started to run away from the site, and Tex started to chase the camera, laughing maniacally. The camera tried to get out of the trapdoor of the X, but Tex grabbed him and flew into the sky. They were so high up, I felt like I was being held by him. Tex made the camera face him, and held the saw to his throat, grinning evilly. The deep note will never end. He tilted his head to the right, grinning with his robot teeth showing, stained in blood. Then he tilted his head to the left, but this time, with a grimace. He was about to slash his saw at the camera, but he said, Ah, forget it, one death will be more worse for you. So, he threw the camera away from him, and the camera was falling. Tex's saw so fell with him, and the saw's gravity slashed at his arm. It was revealed that it was a human's point of view. My turn now. The human finally fell to the ground. He seemed okay, but he got impaled by an incoming saw that stabbed right through his chest, killing him, and he screamed in agony. The man fell to the floor. It later stopped showing the point of view of the human, and finally showed a wide shot of the THX logo. We also get to see a glimpse of the man. He had brown hair, a yellow shirt, blue jeans, and red sneakers. It's my turn. The deep note rouse, and it played. Unlike the other deep notes throughout the THX trailers from past to present, this trailer's deep note was a mixture of various people screaming. 
stock sounds and real screams. Tex dropped to the ground, like how he did in that Stampede trailer, or Mook and trailer made by Pixar back in 1997. He grinned at us. You know what? You shouldn't have seen this trailer. If you never laid eyes on me, nor thought of me, then you wouldn't have had nightmares about me. Good night. Then he flew off into the darkness, chuckling evilly. Now it's my turn. Before the trailer ended, as the deep note faded out, it showed the famous THX slogan, The audience is listening. Right under that is Happy Halloween. In blood. The corners of the screen were even blood-stained. But the DVD wasn't over yet, it showed one final message which is an apology to the DVD viewer. We're very sorry we scared you. Lots of people were afraid of Tex when they were young. You see, many people get afraid of a certain fictional character, and they would have nightmares. Again, we're very sorry. Then it showed, Happy Halloween from THX, with the THX URL under it. Tex can also be heard laughing from the distance as the screen was displayed. The DVD ended, for real. I was really angry and scared at the same time, I took the DVD out of my DVD player and attempted to destroy it, but I thought to myself that I should upload the footage to YouTube for everyone to see. I put the DVD back in and recorded it with my phone. After, uploading it to YouTube, I stomped on the DVD, hammered it, and threw it out in the bin. I didn't sleep for the night, I've had a lot of nightmares about the trailer I can't believe I have seen the scariest video of the THX robot in my life. I don't know if I am going to forget about the video or not, but hopefully I will. I reported the trailer to THX, they even remembered making it for the screening of Halloween, 2007, and they felt bad for giving autistic THX fans nightmares. No one needs to know the truth that Tex is a psychopath. He's a helpful robot, but he looks creepy on the outside. Okay. That story was good. We want to read another. Here it is. If you thought the deleted THX trailer was bad enough, guess again. I've stayed up all night thinking about that other deleted THX trailer, and it won't go away. I felt like not being obsessed with THX after what I just saw. However, I am happy to tell you a story about another missing THX text trailer that nobody knows of. It was a sunny day in my town, and I was in my room doing nothing, but looking on my phone. Mum came into the room and told me she will be going out. She said I can come if I like, and I agreed. We were in the markets, and I was looking for something that might interest me. I found a cord for DVDs. I couldn't find any DVDs that interest me. However, my eye was caught on a THX DVD that is labeled as Missing THX Trailer from 2008 Inches. Its cover consisted of Tex standing in a dark hallway. I was quite surprised to see a THX DVD in the markets. I asked Mum if I can get it, and she said yes. However, I thought of that traumatizing THX trailer I saw months ago, and I sure hope that this trailer won't scare me. As I got home, Mum said she will be going to see one of her friends for a visit. I went to watch the THX trailer in my DVD player since I was bored. After putting the DVD in, a message came up, this THX trailer was made for the Spanish horror film, Mama. Watch at your own risk. It was made for Mama? I said to myself. I've seen that short. The trailer started. The start was the THX logo in a dark background with Halloween decorations. Maybe it is going to be something Halloween themed. Then a man walked into the shot. He resembled the actor, Hayden Christensen who played Anakin Skywalker from the Star Wars prequel trilogy. He looked at the THX logo and walked up to it. As he walked to the back of the THX logo, and found a dark hallway, he looked around until he heard chuckling. Hello? asked the man fearfully. He looked in the dark hallway. The dark figure was no other than Tex, the company's mascot. Something looked off about Tex. He looked very psychotic, his robotic teeth were showing, depicting a big grin on his face, his head was twitching, and he looked very blood-stained. Are, are you that robot who murdered so many innocent people? The man asked. Yes, yes. I am. It's me, the T-Man. Tex replied. Tex slowly reached for the button on his chest, the man started to get concerned about what he is doing. At the moment, it showed a montage of flashbacks. There was a scene where Tex tried to kill a man with a chainsaw. Luckily, the scene cut off right before the chainsaw was about to make contact with the man. 
There is a scene of Tex standing in a dark hallway. After 10 seconds, he vanished. But after 5 seconds, he later appears again with his face covering the entire screen, granny with a robotic, toothy smile, accompanied by the same woman scream from the first Halloween trailer. It then showed a clip of Tex strangling a person to death, and he later stabbed him in the chest. A woman being chased by Tex who is flying over her, holding a butcher's knife, laughing in a maniacal manner. And the last clip showed Tex dragging a corpse slowly into the room of corpses. The flashbacks all ended. Hey, Christy. You better run. Tex cooed teasingly. After a little while Tex then finally pressed the button, and he flew towards the man. The man ran for his life, while Tex can be heard laughing manically. He ran towards the woods, and tried to reach a cabin, but the door was locked. No, no. The door's locked. Someone help. The man exclaimed. He then started to panic and checked if Tex was still chasing him. It then cut to a view of the THX logo from the distance. Tex's psychotic laughter can still be heard, but stopped after four seconds. Tex then popped out from behind a tree. He walked towards the camera, his face turned into a grin, with blood stains, and the man can be heard screaming, but not seen. As soon as his face got the closest, Tex pulled out a chainsaw and charged towards the man. He raised his chainsaw into the air and swung it down, but as the chainsaw was about to make contact with the man, the screen then cut to black, but I can hear the sound of the chainsaw running, the man's agonizing scream echoing through the forest and blood and flesh matter splattering. It then cut to another scene where the man is lying against the THX logo. He was dead. His chest was ripped. He was bleeding in his forehead, indicating Tex ripped out his brain, and his eyes were hollow black. I couldn't stand the sight of the man's body. I paused the DVD and threw up in the bathroom. Here's the video of Derek vomiting and fainting inside a bathroom. Oh no. What's wrong with my stomach? I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, help me. Now, as I was saying, I couldn't stand the sight of the man's body, I paused the DVD and threw up in the bathroom. After vomiting, I thought it could handle the rest of the trailer. It zoomed out to a full view of the THX logo, and the same screaming deep note from the other Halloween trailer played, but this time, the screams are more pained, and were louder. I covered my ears, but I didn't take my eyes off of what I am seeing right now. After the deep note ended, Tex then fell into the shot. He said, Greetings, viewers. I am back. The T-Man is back to haunt your dreams. If you've never laid eyes on me, then you would have never been scared of me. Good night and sweet dreams, Tex then flew away into the darkness, laughing evilly. The screen then cut to the famous slogan, The audience is listening. And after the slogan, it said Happy Halloween from THX. Text can be heard laughing evilly while this text was displayed. The DVD ended. I was so in shock that I snatched the DVD out of my DVD player and stepped on it, hammered it, and burnt it, so no one can be traumatized by it. That night, I've been having a lot of nightmares about the trailer. No wonder why this trailer was made for Mama. In fact, the trailer was very similar to the short. What was THX even thinking? Ruining people's childhoods, scaring the crap out of autistic THX fans? Who is even behind all of this? Always think before you find a missing DVD of an unaired media, because you'll never know what you will bump into. And that's the story for another time. Andrew's team, go to your tent for bedtime. Trip Shot's team, go to your tent for bedtime. I'll go to my tent for bedtime. And for those of you watching this, before we end the video, here are some changes for future Tales Landium Gardens trigger sessions. Round one can your first and round two. In player that has the most money at the end 
of the final round of each round, as Terrapin and Ken come back next week. Players will have 30 seconds to answer instead of 16, just like Jeopardy. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle Audio Jungle Jungle. We have a winner. And the winner is Audio Jungle. And one more thing before this video ends, there's a new sound effect for funny signs videos from Culapillus Entertainment. Here's the first one. Hey Trickshot, pull my finger. And now we have to go to sleep so we can do the grand opening and do that tour of Arvelo Breeze animation. Note, Arvelo Breeze animation is only for adult content. Thanks for watching. Bye. Remember, the Omicron variant of COVID is not the same as the Delta variant of COVID.